Today we will see the classical case of cord around the neck in a 38 week pregnant lady. I am trying to fix the hypothalamus to calculate the y crater diameter. So you can see the y crater diameter. There is midline slit like structure that is third ventricle. So see this is 38 week. Now I will measure the HC in the same setting to calculate the head circumference. See, we we'll take two readings in a longitudinal and in a transverse position that is again of 36 to 37 week. See the hypothalamus? No. Look at the area between the skull and the shoulder area of the fetus. Here you will put the Doppler and there is a bright shadow showing the blood flow. This is a classical sign of the card around the neck. See, this usually seen, this structure usually is seen in the area between the skull and the cervical region. Now I am calculating the heart rate with the help of waveform. You see it is about 125. Normal is 120 to 160. See the structure of the heart. It is its interventricular septum. And look at the right ventricular that is made up of the thick cardiac muscles. You can also appreciate the valve of the heart. Now I am trying to fix the femur to calculate the femur length. And also I would like to look the sex in the same setting. So this is the femur length. It is about 37 to 38 week. So look at the sex between the two femur. It's female baby there is a sandwich or burger sign the arrow is indicating the burger or sandwich sign look at this the arrow is moving in the area of the genital so you can appreciate the sex of the baby it appears to be a female baby So we are now trying to measure the abdominal circumference. We are fixing the spine at the level of the gastric bubble to calculate the abdominal circumference to complete our measurement and to calculate the fetal weight. So look at this bubble of the gastric or the stomach bubble that is lying lateral or on the left side of the vertebral column. So it is about 38 week. Now look at the weight, it is 3161 plus minus few hundred gram. This is the gastric bubble or the stomach bubble. The arrow indicates that or the cursor. Look at the position of the placenta as well. It is fundal and lying in the interior uterine segment or lying along the interior wall of the uterus. Look at the placenta. It is coming into the mid segment or into the lower segment but not reaching to the internal os. Look at the placenta. Uh, 
I'm also trying to look at the vertebral column and the rail load phenomena. There is no defect in the cervical column from cervical region to the coccygeal region. No defect in the vertebras. This is called as the rail road phenomenon. Now at the end we would like to measure the thickness of the lower segment of the uterus. Look at that. We are measuring from the skull to the anterior uterine wall of the lower segment. It is about 3.1 millimeter. So it should not be less than 3. Less than 3 show that is is going to be significantly thin. So this is the lower end of the placenta. Look at that. There is adequate amount of the lichen and it is above 10. EFI is almost above 10. Now we'd like to put Doppler into the uterine or into the umbilical artery to calculate the ST ratio. As I told in the previous uh, movie that uh, ST ratio decreases as the pregnancy advances. It is the systolic to diastolic blood pressure ratio. At 20 weeks it is about 4 and when the pregnancy goes to or reach to the 38 to 40 it becomes less than 2. In this case we will calculate it. So we will calculate the reading of the ST ratio. It is about 1.8. So see it is 1.8. We also like to measure the cervical length to see the element of the incompetence at the end. So we will fix the head and calculate the distance of the head from the cervix. Look at it. This is about 32 to 33. It should be not uh, less than 25 and normal is 35 to 45. Again it is uh, appropriate. So this is the 38 week pregnant lady with the card around the neck and the fetal weight is good.